Introverts are often misunderstood and get a bad rep for being standoffish, snobby, and disinterested. The list can go on for miles. It's funny how much silence can stand out like a sore thumb and be interpreted. But that's all these are wild theories people concoct in their heads to fill up the gaps because they're hungry for answers. Let's get one thing straight though depression and introversion are not the same thing. And depression certainly doesn't discriminate upon personality types. A fair share of extroverts and ambiverts of all ages, genders, shapes, sizes, and color struggle or have struggled with this mood disorder. It doesn't just choose one kind of prey to feed on. As long as we're all living and breathing, we are all susceptible to it, whether it's situational or lifelong. But factors such as genetics, trauma, grief, and seasonal changes make it easier for one to develop depression. But interestingly enough, although introversion is often mislabeled for depression, some research supports the idea that introverts are more likely to develop depression and anxiety than extroverts. Why is this? Well, according to research director Robert McPeak, he believes that introverts are more self critical about their performances than extroverts are. Jennifer Grandman, founder of the online community Introvert Dear, also believes that living in a world that overstimulates and demands a lot from introverts to conform to extroversion would only promote more negative self talk. Instead of adding more pressure on introverts, let's try to promote self acceptance, shall we? We can do that first by understanding them better. Although introverts may be quiet and prefer solitude, their minds are quite the opposite loud, sharp, and chaotic. They often have rich inner worlds. This is where they may harbor dark thoughts and conflicting emotions, since they have a habit of working their problems out independently. Since overthinking can trigger feelings of low self esteem and guilt, this can cause them to isolate themselves further when they believe they don't deserve to be loved. When introverts start disconnecting, it makes it hard to receive positive affirmations from others. Thus, they become more susceptible to depression, while extroverts prefer to seek company when they're troubled. But here's something else to consider. Do introverts need to be as happy as extroverts often strive to be? Boston College psychologist Maya Tamir did a series of studies that proved introverts would rather maintain a neutral emotional state when they were presented tasks, such as giving a speech or taking a test that involved rational thinking. Meanwhile, extroverts preferred to be stimulated by happy thoughts in order to complete the same tasks. This concludes that introverts simply don't need the same kind of entertainment extroverts crave. But that doesn't mean they don't need social interactions. They just prefer not to go out of their way for small talk and would rather stick around for more depth and meaning. What do you think? Are you an introvert? Have you struggled with depression? Please share your thoughts with us below. In our description box, we've also included a link to depression hotlines in case anyone needs to talk. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.